Okay, I haven't done a video for a while. Um, I just haven't had time. But, found some time because a very special knife came home. Um, I'll give you a little bit of backlog. I'm using all new video equipment. Um, I've tried to up the quality of, of the film I've been taking. I'm hoping this camera shoots really well. I'm anxious to see. Um, but more importantly, what we're here to talk about is this knife in my hand. Um, everyone knows that Sam Lurkin, my good friend from Belgium, came here in 2015 to Blade to test for his MS. Um, regretfully, his Master Smith dagger did not show up in time, never did show up, so Sam did not put his five knives in for testing. This was one of the five knives that Sam was putting in. Um, it's a rendition of the Musso buoy. For those of you that know about the Musso buoy, the Musso buoy was owned by Joe Musso. It's apparently, supposedly, possibly one of the buoy knives that Jim Bowie owned. Um, it's probably one of my favorite renditions of the supposed knife that Jim Bowie owned. It's an incredibly big piece. I've always wanted to get a rendition of the Musso buoy, but I just really couldn't find the I liked. Most had that, if you look at the drawing, and I'll post a picture of that, had that classic, almost like broomstick handle, brass sparring bar, brass guard. Nothing that I was really wanting to add to my collection. I've looked at a lot of different Musso buoys. Um, when I saw that Sam was doing a Musso, I immediately you know, asked if I could please be the one that got it. Um, Sam's version is incredible. I mean, you've got to really see this knife in hand to believe how big it is. We're talking about an 18 and three quarter inch to, uh, to 19, I'm sorry, 19 and three quarter, almost 20 inch piece with a 13 and three quarter inch blade. This piece has a Damascus explosion pattern guard and sparring bar. A black wood handle, and if you look at the handle, it's not your traditional broomstick Musso handle, thank God. Sam really put a really fantastic handle on here. One of Sam's handles that pivots in the hand, you know, makes snap cuts so easy. Great, great ergonomics. Nice swell, so when you come off of a, a strike, it, it stops in your hand. Truly, I believe, the finest Musso rendition I've seen. Wade Coulter, a, a friend of mine and a very well-known master smith that is just, you know, knows his stuff, especially about big bowie knives, things like that. He saw it this year with me, and he said that he just thought it was one of the finest renditions he's ever seen. The clip is just wicked. The belly, incredible. Just an incredible piece. W2 steel. Sam added a beautiful hamon or a temper line. The explosion Damascus pattern is exquisite. The knife balances in the hand. It's just a, it's an incredibly big, 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 powerful piece. I needed a good sheath, and that's where the best sheath maker in the United States, Paul Law, um, the, the great Pappy, who I love, he's been such a good friend and such a good person in my life. I probably have one of the largest collections of Paul Long sheaths. Paul really, really did an awesome job on this sheath. The first thing we needed was a stud. Now this knife's gonna be kind of hard to carry sash carry, but it's got a strap in the back for lashing and things like that. But we needed a carry stud. Sam forged up an explosion pattern Damascus billet, similar to the guard, sent it over to me, and my good friend Lester Knipe, who's the best gunsmith that I know, who's built all my rifles that I, I've taken abroad and everything, machined a gorgeous fluted CNC'd out stud, and I'll get some great pictures of that.
So once we got the stud, I sent it to Paul. Paul, you know, these original knives had tipped sheaths. Paul doesn't do tip sheaths, and I'm not a big fan of tip sheaths. But Paul did what I thought just a, a wonderful version of, of a classic style sheath that would match this type of a period knife. It's black and brown shark skin with a toe and a top cap. Just a, a gorgeous package. So just to recap it, um, probably one of my favorite knives in my collection from two of the very best in their fields, Paul Long and Samuel Lurkin, both very good friends of mine. Thank you guys. This knife will never be sold. I cherish it. It'll stay in my collection till my kids end up selling it at a yard sale. Again, thanks a million. Appreciate it. The Sam Lurkin and Paul Long, Muso Bowie.